just having that fellowship with God alone just that fellowship with God alone meant everything to me and once I come out of that place I feel like every other thing is solved so what is up everybody you're welcome back man and I'm excited today I'm feeling excited um, this is actually where I attended my primary school you know I was looking for a solitary environment to film this video but I couldn't find one and the one I had in mind was quite far but then I remembered this place this is where my church compound is and this is also where I attended my primary school one of those classes over there was my class just right there yeah one of those classes over there I used to be there it just feels amazing being back here you know it reminds me of so many things so many memories you know <laughs> primary school cruise all them girls that used to like me in primary school and all them girls that I used to crush on in primary school <laughs> and the whole time we used to play soccer over there just right there and then there is another field over there we also play soccer there that's a full field right there and um today i just want to have a little bit of conversation with you guys so let me find somewhere to sit down so we can talk guys i think i'm just gonna sit right here and talk with you guys but then it's quite dusty we're in hamatan season in nigeria and everywhere is dusty so i'll have to clean this up all right cleaning up <laughs> Earlier this morning, I had an issue with my dad and the issue is not even a serious one. He had an issue with me because I'm driving a dirty car, but then it's not my fault. There is dust all over the place. Once you wash your car and then you go out and come back again, it's dirty again. So I was like, can't you see how everywhere is at this point? But then you know that that's not what they want to hear. So yeah, it was crazy, man. Okay. <laughs> We're done here. So let's talk. So today guys, um someone is calling me. Hello. So basically if you've been on my channel, you would actually realize that there was a time I was practicing no fab. You know, I'm still actually doing that, you know, but the whole essence of practicing that was actually to help me overcome that addiction and all that, all those bad habits, you know. But then, um, it wasn't just, uh, all those things didn't end because of how disciplined I am or how, how good I am or <laughs> at not fapping, okay. Um, one thing, one major thing that helped me and I'll, I'll tell anybody anywhere is that I started growing a good relationship with God. Of course, you all know I'm a Christian and I'll talk about me being a Christian anywhere, anytime. I'll share my faith with anybody, you know. And um, at that point, I wasn't just practicing this, okay? I was also talking to God about that, all right? Um, there is something that Mike Todd said and that kept me going. He said, most times, we are coming to God trying to change our habits. We're coming to God trying to change how we are. But then, that's not what God wants. God wants us to come how we are, to give ourselves, our whole self, and then He'll help us change our habits, as simple as that is. I'm trying to call my brother back. I think he's looking for me right now. Hello, if I In our go. And inside the school too. Growing up, getting addicted to some of this stuff, you know, pornography and stuff. I I didn't really see it as something really that deep. But then I've always known inside of me that this is something wrong. Okay, this is not even something that needs to be found in you. When you go deeper and deeper with God, you'd realize that it's not the same way He 
dealing with you before that he will deal with you right now because you're growing you're growing into a matured son of god you're growing into a more matured man of god he would actually treat your affairs differently this time around okay because he's a loving father he wants you to grow and that is it about god and at some point i noticed that in order for me to progress to the next level of this relationship with god i just have to keep these things aside i just have to keep them aside and that was the point i started drawing closer okay when i understood that god is not really bothered about what we're going through right now what um we are trying to overcome right now he just wants our heart and at that point I would always pray even when I would do it the previous night and then I would always pray again and again in my prayers it's not necessarily about God I'm sorry for doing this and all that no that is you guilt tripping yourself the Bible said something that when we sing God has already forgiven us you know that is the essence of grace and when you can understand how grace can help us grow then you would know that sin is, is nothing compared to what god has done for us so at that point it, it would be me praying to have um a fellowship with god and that fellowship prompted a whole lot of things that fellowship with god prompted me to actually draw closer and as i drew closer i noticed something i noticed that these things were dropping they were just dropping little by little I started losing interest I started to lose interest in them and I was like wow wow that made me understand that God wants us to be with him to always have a constant fellowship with him rather than us worrying about the things that are putting us down and that is the problem we have most times in our lives in different aspects of our lives we're worried about how to get this off we're worried about how to get this off without even filling it in with something else and trust me it's not that i've not prayed about these things before or something like that and you'll be like oh my god i'm not gonna try and do this again god i'm really sorry god if i try this again kill me <laughs> and then sometimes when i think about these things i'm like what if god actually killed you what <laughs> what if god actually killed you but then he's a loving father he understands us he knows what we're passing through the bible says that jesus jesus was human like us he knows what we pass through we do not have a high priest that does not know what we're passing through he had those emotions he had those feelings he was flogged man so he knows what it means to be human and that actually prompted me to start understanding the love of god if you come to understand the love of god then you would know that these things are too small to even keep you down in life but the problem is you continuing in it can actually keep you down in life for ever that is the point i started understanding okay this is what god wants me to be god wants me to be in his presence instead of searching for ways to stop this particular thing god wants me to study his word and get better you know instead of sourcing for things elsewhere and um that helped me a whole lot man and that taught me a whole lot back then that taught me a whole lot it taught me to always put god first acknowledging in everything i am doing no matter how little i think that stuff is you know in every aspect of my life you know if god can do this for me then <laughs> there is nothing he can do this is just to encourage anyone out there any young person out there battling with any sort of addiction or problems or life situations you know what you gotta do is to go to god first find his will for your life pray and always have fellowship with him you know at some point i didn't see the essence of asking god god please do this for me i want to pass this exam i want to do this or that just having that fellowship with god alone just that fellowship with god alone meant everything to me and once i come out of that place i feel like every other thing is solved every other thing is solved so the key word in this video is fellowship you know fellowship 
fellowshipping with God, spending time with God at every point in time, asking Him for direction. And he's the one that brought us into this life. He knows what we are here for. He knows, He said in His word that even before they give birth to us, He knew, He knew who we are. So um, anything you're pursuing outside God, you're probably going to go the wrong way, honestly. So um that is it guys that is it so i just wanted to put this out there and let you guys know that most times it is not just about self-discipline it is not just about saying i'm not doing this i'm not doing that there is an inner strength required for you to actually pull off that stuff you want to pull off because this world is crazy this world can make you do a whole lot of things you can set your standards right now and you step out there and you've forgotten what your standards are because of how appealing and how things are how crazy this world is so it is only by the grace of God that we stand and become the people that God wants us to become the right people try this guys try spending time with God more often try studying the world more often you know um, if you're having difficulties you can just hit me up you know reach out and then I can help you with a few materials all right so that is it guys and I hope you enjoyed this one and i hope i was able to help someone out there okay i think i'm gonna come down from this car right now. that was epic i'll be going back to school next week that's crazy to go and start dealing with school stress man yep <laughs> but then i'll still keep you guys up to date on what is happening all right i'll see you guys in the next one until then guys